Hello, I'm Gabe. For this problem, we're asked to consider the function g of x equals cosine of x minus pi over 2 plus 2. This function is related to the parent function f of x equals cosine of x. For part a of this problem, we're asked to describe the sequence of transformations from f to g. Going from f of x to g of x, since we have a cosine of x minus pi over 2, f of x is shifted pi over 2 units to the right. And since we have cosine of x minus pi over 2 plus 2, g of x is f of x shifted 2 units up. For part b of this problem, we're asked to sketch the graph. <coughs> For part b of this problem, we're asked to sketch the graph of g of x. Now note that f of x and g of x are related, and we can manipulate the key points for f of x to obtain the key points for g of x. These points are pi over 2, 3, pi, 2, three pi over two, one, two pi, two, and finally, five pi over two, three. Now these five points give us one period of our function g of x. So let's plot these five points. Our first point is the point pi over 2, 3. Our second point is pi, 2. The third point is 3 pi over 2, 1. The fourth point is 2 pi, 2. And finally, the last point is 5 pi over 2, Now to sketch the graph, we'll connect these five points using a smooth curve. Now there's one period of our graph. If we would like, we can continue and sketch another period of our graph. And again, to complete this period, we'll connect these points with a smooth curve. And there we have two periods of g of x equals cosine of x minus pi over 2 plus 2. <clears throat> For part c of this problem, we're asked to use function notation to write g of x in terms of f of x. So going back to part a, since g of x is f of x shifted pi over 2 units to the right, we have that g of x is going to be equal to f of x minus pi over 2. And also, since g of x is f of x shifted 2 units up, we'll have that g of x is equal to f of x minus pi over 2 plus 2. Thank you.